Yeah, it's, um, where trauma occurs can be really important because um, um, our nervous system is in a different place, you know, between the age when we're born. And what is demanded is often is, is a more mature nervous system or a couple of nervous systems to be able to create a holding space where you can begin to do the growth you need to have. What if they're not there? What if something happens that's too big for that sort of nervous system? And then what happens, you find yourself sort of trapped in it. And, it, um, and um, you, you, part of what a, you know, our, our, our body is supposed to do is it's supposed to learn pretty quickly what is, um, what is safe and what is not. And some of the messages that we learn very early like that, the whole world becomes something, something with teeth, right? Right. Um, uh, it's a dangerous world out there, so to speak. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something that's uh, kind of on the topic a little bit, but because we we talked about a lot of psychoanalytic is- issues and and concepts and terms here. How about the unconscious? Are we working? If you're working through this trauma, there are certain psychotherapies out there that mm-hmm. was so or, uh, would really kind of stay in the conscious talk uh, uh, level or surface on that, if you will, but. Um, these traumas are so deep within us and they recur and they're, and they're so upsetting to the system. What's, uh, w- what do you think about dealing with these traumas? How do you get at that unconscious trauma, those ones that are just sort of out of our awareness? How would, how would you well, here's the thing, if, and this, this may be a little too technical, but technically trauma can't be unconscious. Only something that has been to some degree named can be repressed. So, um, a, okay. a flashback a is not a return from something from the depths. It's re- a return from something that still is, right? So there's they talk about the vertical vertical versus the horizontal split, and with the unconscious, you take things that you you know, um, like for instance, a wonderful example is um, you know if you um, if you have some sort of um, let's say that. Um, a family member, uh, your uncle just got married, and his new wife reminds you a little bit of a babysitter that you really hated. Right. And it isn't that that memory is unconscious, but whenever you're around her, you begin to find yourself getting a little annoyed. Uh, she just you find yourself getting short with her. So this is something that that is um, uh, that is buried. And if you were to talk with someone and suddenly realize, wait a minute, you know, she does remind me of that babysitter I had, then you could suddenly deal with her differently, maybe, right? Does that okay. make sense? Yeah, yeah. So but with the, um, with the uh, vertical split, it's something that has literally just been, it, it's, it's been pushed off. It is split from the individual. Uh, flashbacks seem to come out of nowhere and as if you're suddenly stuck right. in the past again. So it's not, it is, um, and it, um, you can literally re-experience a trauma. In the midst of a flashback, it feels as if you were being hurt all over again in the same way that you were before. Right. So part of the goal of therapy, say with some therapies like EMDR and whatnot, they literally want to find a way to begin to get the trauma coded, put it into language, somehow find a way to be able to integrate it. Okay. And that then it becomes the possibility. So if this were a babysitter who had sexually abused you and you'd gone through treatment, if you were around the ant, as opposed to triggering a dissociative state or causing you to fall apart, you might be able to register your anxiety. And because you have integrated the trauma to some degree, then you may be able to say, wait a minute, you know what? She sort of wears the same perfume as that. I think that's what this is. Does that make sense? Yeah, it absolutely. And usually sense. through, it doesn't have to be therapy, but somehow, in fact, if you look at some of what um, can be really helpful for folks who've undergone trauma, they often have a family, they have friends, they have connections, they get support almost immediately after the bad thing has happened, and right. so they find a way to be able to integrate it. And they can often talk about it in a way that would let you know that this is something that they've been that they've metabolized, it's integrated, and now in some way it is potentially unconscious. Make okay. sense?